In this photo, I wanted to show you how to create a three and a half by two inch standard business card like this one using a bunch of different photos that you would have in a portfolio or in a gallery. So the first thing that we want to do is I have all the photos that I'm going to be using lined up down at the bottom here, but we need to create the canvas size first. So I'm just going to choose the first photo here. It doesn't matter what photo and I'm going to create create a virtual photo and then I'm going to go I'm going to click on that virtual photo and I'm going to go to adjustment and click on crop and straighten and click this little lock and then we want to choose three and a half by two I already have it down here because I've already done this so you may need to enter custom so just click on that and put in three and a half by 2.0 so click that and it creates this little box here and it doesn't matter where it is on the photo because we're going to be deleting the photo anyways. So just click done. And so now we have our canvas size to work with. So come up here to layers. And we want to fill this in with black. So to click command A to select the canvas. And then come up here to select area tool. And click delete selection. And then now come up to the fill tool and change your color. I'm going to change mine to black. And then just click on the canvas. And then you can just click uh, Command D, like David, to clear the selection. So once you have your background filled in with black, we want to start loading our photos that we're going to be using. So just click on the photos at the bottom and drag them up until you have all the photos that you want to use for your business card. So now that we have all the photos loaded, we need to create the strips for them, but we need to create a selection first. So we're going to come up here and create an empty, add a new layer and add an empty layer. And we're going to create our strips on this layer. But we first need to determine the size of each strip because we have seven photos and we want the strips to be equal. So we, if you hover over the canvas that we created, which was this one right here, it is 2158 by 1233. So if you take 2158 and divide it by seven and then enter those dimensions up here, that will be our strip size. So I already did the math on it and it's 308 and we'll keep the same length, 1233. So 308 pixels wide by 1233 in length. So just come up here and enter that, whatever it works out to be for you. And 1233. And then we're going to come up here on this layer we just created and let's make this full screen and then just click click in the upper left corner here and just click once and it creates a strip for you. So let's turn off all the layers except the very first one and I'm going to turn the background off as well. So I want to work with the transparent canvas. So there's our first image, and we need to get this selection so that it's over top of the image. So come up to the empty layer and click Command, Shift, and the right arrow key to move it in increments. But we need to make sure the Pick and Move tool is selected. Oops. So Again, command, shift, and the right arrow key, and it moves that selection box so that it's, it moves it in, I think it's 10 pixels every time, or 10 spaces rather. And then if you just want one at a time, just click command and the arrow key. So once you have it to about where you want it, 
you want to choose the select area tool and you also want to make sure you're not on the layer anymore you need to actually come on the image so it's important to remember that so we're on the image we have our selection box but we want to invert the selection because we want to keep just what's inside the box so click invert selection and then choose delete selection and don't clear your selection just click invert selection and go back up to the layer the empty layer and now we can turn on our next photo and we're just going to do the same thing while you're on that empty layer make sure you choose the pick and move tool and again with command shift and the right arrow key just click until you're right about where you want to be and then make sure you're on the layer with the image choose the select area tool and select the invert selection and delete selection and go back to invert selection and then go back up to your empty layer and turn on your next layer your next image rather and while you're still on the empty layer just choose command shift and the arrow key or, or I keep forgetting to choose the pick and move tool so command shift and right about there looks good and then click the select area tool invert the selection and delete the selection oops you know what I'm glad that I did this because I forgot to go down to the image so you can see nothing happened when I did that so you have to actually go to the image so let's try that again delete the selection there we go and then invert the selection again so go back up to the empty layer and turn on your next image and choose the pick and move tool and choose it with shift command selected and the right arrow key cursor over to right about there and then click the select area tool invert the selection and go make sure you're on the image I almost didn't go do that and delete the selection and then invert the selection again and go back up to your empty layer and turn on your next image and with the pick and move tool selected shift command and left arrow key this time that looks good and select area tool make sure you're on the image and invert the selection and delete selection and then invert the selection again go back up to the empty layer turn on your next image and wow that's like right about where I would want it so I'm just gonna leave that so go on the image invert the selection and delete selection and then you want to invert the selection and then let's go up to our go back up to the layer and the new layer, empty layer and then turn on the last layer and let's choose the shift command and we'll pick the pick and move tool
and that looks good right about there. Go on that layer. Select area tool, invert the selection, and delete selection. So now we need to move these, each photo. So let's turn them off, all except the very first photo. And with the pick and move tool selected, just move them over. And I don't want to click and drag it over because then I might move the photo too high to the top and then I'm going to have to find my center again. So I'm just going to keep doing shift, command, and the arrow key. For me personally, I find that easier. So right about there, then click your next photo. So I've gone ahead and I've moved all the strips over and the last thing we need to do is just add a narrow strip of black between each photo. So come up to your last layer and choose add new layer and add an empty layer and then click the select area tool and with the rectangle selection just click the top of the photo between the two images and click and drag to make a selection and then click the fill tool and fill that in. It defaulted to black, so I don't need to change it. So just click that. And then right click on that layer and choose duplicate layer. And then while you're on that duplicated layer, choose command, shift, and the arrow. Make sure the pick and move tool is selected. Try that again, command, shift, and the arrow key and move that over to about there and then create another duplicate so right click and move that one over and again duplicate right click move that over And make another duplicate. Shift command, right arrow key, move that over. And one more, right click, duplicate layer. And clear the selection. So command D. Or if you have the select area tool clicked, you would click the clear selection. So now I'm going to add some text. So this is my friend Harwood Gordon. He's an actor. He lives here in LA. And he's my neighbor. So I'm just going to add his name to these photos of him, of his card. And I'm going to click the text tool. So I'm on the top layer. I'm going to click the text tool and once I start typing it's going to create a layer on its own. So just click where you want to start typing. Make sure you have your font picked. So I'm going to start with 100. Let's try that again. I'm going to start with 100 and then just click and start typing. So follow word Gordon. Click OK. You have to move this text box and expand it. There we go. And then I'm just going to move that down. And I want to put a shadow on it. So it's going to double click and it highlights it. And then I'm going to click shadow and I want a white shadow on it. And I 
just play with the offset slider until it is where you want it to be. And that looks good to me. Right there. And I'm, I may play with this a little bit more, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. But, and then you can merge all these layers if you want to, or you can just go back out of here and it will prompt you. Do you want to save your changes in a temporary file? And if you say yes, then it's, let me just click yes. And then if we go there, you can see that's the card we just created. And it has this little yellow in the corner to indicate that um, it says this file includes layering, editing data. So if you wanted to go back and edit it in the future, you would just click on layers again. And there are all the layers. So I hope you like this video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up.